And Dr. Huang, we understand that monkeypox is now um, in the Dallas County area. Should people be concerned about this? So, um, you know, uh, we have been working with uh, the CDC, the state health department, uh, have identified uh, any close contacts uh, that he had, you know, between after landing uh, in the Dallas airport. Uh, and he's in the hospital now in stable condition, in isolation. Uh, really, the risk to the public is extremely low. Um, we are following up with all of those identified close contacts, monitoring them uh, for symptoms. Uh, and, you know, actually, uh, this is uh, the nature of this. You can't transmit it uh, until you develop symptoms. So the people who um, may have been in contact with him, you know, will monitor him. They, but they can continue on their, um, you know, with their normal activities, uh, monitoring for symptoms. Uh, so, uh, again, I think it's uh, very low risk for uh, the general public. Uh, we are working with the CDC and the state um, to identify any uh, persons who uh, were on the uh, airline flights uh, that might um, need to be followed up. And so, um, again, those appropriate uh, follow-ups occurring, uh, but for the general public, there's really very low risk. And Dr. Huang, since this announcement came out this afternoon, we've noticed a lot of people Googling not only monkeypox, but also chickenpox. Are there any comparisons between the two viruses? So really, this is more um, in the same family like smallpox. And so um, uh, actually one of the uh, potential uh, con control measures is the smallpox vaccine also. As healthcare agencies continue to investigate how transmission happened, we know that we have a international community here in Dallas County. There's the possibility that some of our neighbors may be traveling to Nigeria or other parts of Africa. Should there be any cause for concern or um, any measures taken if people are taking international trips? Well, you know, one of the things that actually uh, uh, helped us with this and, uh, uh, you know, reduced any risk of transmission is the, the masking uh, that's been required on the airplanes. Uh, also, uh, even in the airports, uh, you know, it is thought to uh, be able to be transmitted by uh, droplet spread between humans. So the use of the mask uh, not only is helpful for COVID, but also uh, for this situation. Um, so that's something uh, certainly that uh, can help prevent that spread. Because this is kind of new for many people in our community, the thought and sound of um, a disease like monkeypox, can you go down the list of symptoms for us? Yeah, I mean, it typically, the incubation period is usually about seven to 14 days. So uh, it can be anywhere from five to 21. But, you know, after that incubation period, you might get sort of these uh, mild uh, fever, headache, muscle aches. Um, and one thing that's a little different is uh, some uh, swelling of the lymph nodes. Uh, then a couple of days after that, I start to get a rash on the face that can spread uh, to other parts of the body. Um, so um, those are the symptoms uh, that uh, are characteristic for this. We know that you and your team are being very proactive in letting the community know about uh, monkeypox in the area right now. But this also comes at a time when we're talking about COVID-19, spread of variants. We know that Dallas County was equipped to deal with Ebola a few years ago. Is Dallas County equipped to handle monkeypox right now? Well, you know, we're really appreciative. Uh, I mean, one of the things uh, that uh, certainly was identified with COVID is the need to uh, build our infrastructure and public health and our systems for uh, containment, for doing contact tracing, following up on all these things. And so uh, we certainly appreciate the support from the county commissioners uh, for all the things that we've been developing and building our public health infrastructure. So it certainly helps us uh, be more prepared for situations like this. And this is, um, I think, you know, we're only a plane ride away from uh, these other infectious diseases across the world. So uh, it's something that we need to keep, uh, continue to be mindful of. Is there anything that made uh, this individual vulnerable to catching this virus, do you know? Um, you know, I think we're, the CDC is going to be working uh, with the, um, uh, I think they have an equivalent of a CDC in Nigeria to try to, uh, you know, determine, follow up on some of the contacts over there, uh, perhaps uh, identify uh, perhaps a source. Um, so uh, again, at this point, we don't know exactly uh, how he got it.
And Dr. Huang, anything else you want to add that I may not have asked um, as we continue to process this disease and um, how the response to it is going to be handled? Sure. I mean, I just uh, to emphasize, you know, there's only been this one case. Uh, I think we have a good handle on all the close contacts that this person uh, had once they arrived in Dallas. Uh, we're following up with them and uh, going to be monitoring them uh, for symptoms. And we're working with the state and the CDC on following up with any others uh, that uh, you know may have uh, had uh, uh, exposure of concern.